here's another feature you maybe it's a really eye-opener. You know, mm. tuberculosis remains one of the most serious infectious diseases affecting children. Every year, 1.2 million children develop tuberculosis, an airborne deadly disease that has been around for centuries now. And even worse, more than half of these children are never diagnosed, much less treated, while on average 600 children die each day from the disease. Now in Kenya, the prevalence rate among children under the age of 14 is between 14 and 15 percent. And even as the world marks TB Day today, health care providers are calling for the integration of TB care in maternal and child health services if the country is to end TB among children and adolescents. Emily Chabet reports. Can you water? Yeah. Baby Joy, not her real name, is a grade one pupil who has been battling tuberculosis since 2022. For the better part of that period, Baby Joy was being treated for different ailments including pneumonia and chest-related problems. This because unlike in adults, picking TB cases in children remains a challenge as the disease presents with unclear symptoms that may be elusive. The other reason is that healthcare facilities across the country have never had a case of pediatric TB before, and in several instances, children suffer the consequences of misdiagnosis and lack of testing. Kitambo ni mpeleke, hiyo siku alikuwa shuleni, nika akaniambia njioni ya metapika, na akakoa andamu. Kasa nika pigia mwalimu, nika muliza kama ni ukweli, mwalimu akaniambia ilikuwa hivo, Na alikuwa na sweti sana usiku na alikuwa melusa hape taitiaku ya nataka kukula kitu. We are dealing with the pediatrics TB that is in history of a cough more than two weeks. In history of positive contact with a TB patient. Then uh, failure to drive, especially for children who are on follow up on weight and height and uh, fevers. Globally, it is estimated that 1.2 million children and young adolescents suffer from TB. But child and adolescent TB is often overlooked by healthcare providers and caregivers. Kuna wengine wame kutiritua pneumonia miesika kwa munda, na hapo daktari ndiyo sasa anaansa kujua ni nani anaenda anansia kuansia investigations. Kulingana na utafiti, Pali popote ambapo kuna kifua kikuu kwa watu wazima, kuna wale watoto ambao wako na hiyo ugonjwa. Na uwa wanasema ni kati ya silimi ya kumi na kumi na tano ya ugonjwa wote wa kifua kikuu watakuwa ni watoto. Children below the age of five are at a higher risk of developing severe, often fatal forms of TB, such as TB meningitis, which can leave them blind, deaf, paralyzed or mentally disabled, and in some cases, children lose their lives. But despite the danger, TB treatment among children has been tricky. Caregivers had to cut or crush multiple bitter tasting pills in an attempt to achieve the right doses for children. This made the six-month treatment journey difficult for children and their families, contributing to treatment failure and death from the disease. However, experts say improved child-friendly medicine is one of the solutions in tackling TB in children. The medicines are dissolvable with pleasant and flavored fixed-dose formulations that are easy to administer. But according to stakeholders, more needs to be done. Children are not born with tuberculosis. Children acquire TB from those within the environment. Secondly, children are not able to express themselves. Unlike you and I who, if we feel sick, we'll go to a facility and say, I have a headache or I feel like uh, I have a fever. Kushirikiana na wisara ya afya, tumeweza kweka machine sita ya teknoloji ya mpia, mbayo inaweza kuchungusa na kuweza kupata kifua kikuu kwa kina. Treatment regimen for children has been reduced from six months to three months in order to help in adherence. We also rolled out an improved diagnostic algorithm that is there to help the healthcare worker even identify TB in children much more easily. And as a result, what we have seen is an increase even in the number of childhood TB cases that we are notifying even within that short period that that has been rolled out. The drug regimens again and vaccine development 
these are some of the issues that will be able to help us even uh, detect further how, uh, what kind of treatment needs to be uh, placed on this uh, particular patient. If any member of the household is diagnosed with TB, it is a requirement that all other household members are tested and for children below the age of five years, even if they are not found with TB during the test and they are in close contact with a person with TB, put on a six-month treatment plan to prevent TB. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV.